This, <laughs> this year wasn't easy. It, it took effort on my end, and it took the one to change, and it took learning to submit and some grace from God and the staff. Uh, but ultimately, for me to get here, it took God, so I give him all the glory. He pulled me from the darkness when I didn't think it was possible. I'd given up on the thought of doing anything positive in life. I'd given up all hope in life, period. I was blinded to anything good because I didn't have God. But through his mercy and grace, he brought me to Heartland, lifted me up and showed me that I don't have to live like that anymore. First of all, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for delivering me out of bonds of sin and a pit of destruction I was living in. I'd like to thank Miss Lori for uh, keeping Harlan going and for giving everybody that's broken a place to come and for your your leadership. I'd like to thank my dad, my kids, for uh, never giving up on me and always loving and supporting me. I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for sin, for sin, man, as my nest. I was in so I could start again. So I want to thank my glory for, for giving me a chance here at Heartland. This year has been a life-changing experience that has brought me closer to God and brought me closer to God and a wonderful group of people to have known. They call themselves the church. Ms. Lori for your faithfulness, the executive council for your faithfulness to administer this program, to, to carry the burdens that most of us as men never have to see so that we don't have to see them, so that we can focus on finding that relationship with God. So this program started for me as an act of selfishness. I wanted to save my family. That was my desire. But God's desire was so much bigger. You see, God's desire was to take a bunch of strangers and live in my life and turn them into family. And that's what you guys have become. And that's what these men over here have become to me. I didn't know what family truly looked like until he introduced me to Heartland. <laughs>